What's up everybody? It's Boy Meme here. Uh, for breakfast, I had um, three hash browns that my that my sister made. Um, those were pretty good. Um, she also made some hash browns for, for other people, like my dad and her. Uh, and that was pr pretty much brunch. That, that's all I've had today. Uh, for dinner, I don't know what we're gonna have. Yeah, you know, I'm just hanging out. Good news, I finished my math IA, my math IA first draft today. Uh, the whole for those of you who don't know, the um, the math IA is basically this big math essay that we have to do, um, and it's part of the International Baccalaureate Program, um, IB. Um, and you know, I'm not in the IB program. I just have some IB classes. It's like AP kind of. Um, and if you're in IB math applications, you have to do a um, this thing called an IA, and that's an internal assessment. And it's basically just this big essay that you do, um, and you can do it on anything. Just anything you want, as long as it involves um, understanding of math that we did that year. So the thing that I did was I created this, um, uh, you know, frankly, very bad uh, encryption algorithm for messages. Um, and it used uh, like combinations, like, um, like, like combinations as in combinations and permutations. Um, so it used combinations to like, which is something that we learned this year, to um, basically just like mix up uh, letters that went through an A1Z26 cipher. Uh, and so it, it, it turns the numbers and it turns the letters into numbers, right? And then it does some stuff because of like two key numbers you give it. And then it like does some combinations to it. Uh, and you know, the, the exact math, well, the exact math is what matters. Uh, but from the user's perspective, what really matters is um, you just put a you put a message into the into the encryption algorithm with two numbers, right? The numbers can be one through ten, um, and then uh, you know anybody can have this encoded message, right? But if they don't have the two numbers, um, they can't decode the message. So the user, the, the the person who wants to get the message, they would have this encoded message. They would use the two numbers given to them by the person, and then they would un unencrypt the the message, right? Um, and I'm not sure why I heard about that concept. I I it's used commonly in a lot of encryption, but I forgot what it's called. Um, and, you know, uh, the reason why it's bad is because something odd is occurring in my game. Hmm, never mind. Uh, the reason why it's odd is because, well, the reason why it's bad is because um, if you choose two numbers, one through ten, um, that results in there being only 45 combinations of numbers. <laughs> um, and so, you know, you can really easily brute force that by just going like, oh, is it one, is it two, is it three, is it four, you know? Um, and then eventually you'll find the, the message. Um, but the thing is, is, you know, I talked about in the essay how if you set up some sort of web interface or a UI, um, oh, the, the, the reason why the two numbers are limited to 10 is because um, it, when you're doing the math, like encrypting the message, uh, you'd have to deal with absurdly large numbers if you're doing it anything higher than 10. Um, and, you know, if the nice thing I mentioned in the essay, if you're doing it like, um, if you have like a web interface or you have a program that does it for you, uh, you can have, you know, the keys be any size you want, uh, up to, up to a point, right? Um, the, the keys can be like one through a hundred, both keys. Uh, and then that's, I don't have my calculator with me, but I'd figure out the amount of combinations that you could have before you could brute force it. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense, but I finished my math IA today, my first draft of my math IA, which is actually really incredible because most people, I'm pretty sure haven't even started. Uh, so I'm happy about that. Um, yeah. All right. Um, I hope everybody has a good day. Uh, you know, I'm just hanging out. I got some acne, which is kind of freaking me out. Um, may maybe this is TMI, but you know, down here, I got like a pimple and I got some stuff around my mole. Um, and then like, I can't really see them. You know, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe the, this is how people view me uh, and they don't notice the, the acne on my face. that seems to be very ever present these past couple days. Um, and, you know, I don't know if it's because of the stress or because of the food I've been eating or um, because of my lack of exercise from the break. I don't know what it is. Uh, but, you know, you know, I'm, I'm working on it. I've been using this new acne cream. We'll, we'll see how that turns out. Um, so, yeah, I hope everybody has a good day and I hope um, everybody uh, appreciates their friends and family a lot because, uh, you know, um, the, you know, friends and family are important and, you know, even if you're introverted, uh, you know, you know, when they're gone, they'll be gone forever. See, you gotta spend time with them. I don't know, I don't know what's with this weird, uh, with this weird random going on, but, you know, uh, yeah, I hope everybody has a good day. Um, see you, dude.